Pokemon Home is finally here. But if you're like me, you've got tons and tons of generations of Pokemon saved in different 3DS games. You've uploaded them all to Pokemon Bank. Now, how do we get them from Pokemon Bank into Pokemon Home so we can use at least some of them in Sword and Shield? If this is your first time joining us, do hit that like and subscribe button, ring that bell so you never miss a video. Uh, I recommend before you dive too far into this, make sure you've gone on to the Pokemon or the, the Nintendo eShop uh, for Pokemon uh, Home. Make sure you've upgraded to premium, otherwise you're only going to gain access to a limited um, 30 Pokemon box, um, which is not that useful. Um, I've already gone ahead and upgraded to premium, so I have access, I think it's like... 30 or 50 boxes or something like that. Um, so from this main menu, when you log into Pokemon Home, there is this ability called Move, and this is where we're going to start. So I have deposited uh, all of my Pokemon from Ultra Sun into Pokemon Bank. Um, you log into Pokemon Bank in on your, your DS, you'll have to update to the latest version, which is, I think, the thing delaying most YouTubers from getting these videos out today, is we all had to run out and update our, our 3DS. We weren't expecting Pokemon uh, Home to come out today. Um, but so go ahead and hit, yeah, you'll be unable to use Pokemon Home until the move is complete. Do you want to begin move preparations? Once I go into Pokemon Bank on my Nintendo 3DS, I hit that Move Pokemon to Pokemon Home button, and it pops up with a dialogue. The dialogue says, you're about to send some of your Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Please note that you won't be able to bring your Pokemon back to Pokemon Bank. Please check the official Pokemon Home website for details. So this is a one-way move. Once you move out of the 3DS ecosystem, there is no going back to Pokemon Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon or back into the Pokemon Bank ecosystem so that you can move between those games. So make sure that you are, are ready to make the, the, the move to the, to the Switch generation of games because once you move forward, there is no going back. So we'll go ahead and hit that we are ready. Moving keys are only valid for three minutes. Enter the key into Pokemon Bank as soon as you can. Begin. Do you want to create a moving key? Oh boy, that's a long, that's a long key. Let's send this box because it's got my. Oh, you can select multiple boxes. There we go. Oh. Okay. Done. Move these boxes. Move these Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Yes. Now it says to enter in that code, and I've only got these three minutes to do it. All right, time we get your Pokemon all moved into their new home. In, well, Pokemon home. It might take a little time to finish, so sit tight. And then once I hit OK on this end, it says the moving key has been entered in Pokemon Bank successfully. Move preparations will begin. Checking the game card, connecting to the internet, nickname, Trainer Toll. That's me. All right. And in proper. Uh... Oh. Damn. It kicked me right out. Preparing to move. Welcome to Pokemon Bank. So let's see if it'll let me back into Pokemon Home now. It kicked me all the way out to the main screen. It's funny, like whenever you're transferring from the old handheld games, they're they're kind of brutal. Move preparation is complete. There are 1,049 49 Pokemon that can be moved. How would you like to move them to boxes in Pokemon Home? All boxes as they are. Pokemon and Pokemon Bank boxes will be moved as is. Do you want to save your progress? Yes. You saved your progress. Pokemon were moved from Pokemon Bank to your boxes in Pokemon Home. You received 3,000 Pokemon Home points for moving for the first time. And now there's 1,229 Pokemon in there. Uh, let's see what we got. So these are Pokemon that I transferred over in the first video. Um, 
that are from oh wow look at that look at all these boxes man all sorts of neat stuff in here gonna take me a lifetime to organize all these boxes again I'm almost bummed that it's these like stylized pictures versus uh, the sprites I know like if it was the sprites I'd be saying like oh man I wish it was 3d picture I don't know I'm a, I'm a sucker for sprites though um, man there's a there's a lifetime of Pokemon from from different games every time you've been able to send stuff forward like that probably is my uh, pre-marina from one of the playthroughs. Man, there's just everything. So now let's log out. You hit the plus sign to quit out of that. So we'll save our changes. One of the things that I'm really curious curious about is, you know, how is it going to handle? extra legal Pokemon um, things that were created with like an action replay when we were all teenagers and stuff uh, how is it going to handle those all right so right off the bat uh, you can transfer Rowlet into uh, into Pokemon sword and shield so that's interesting um, Yeah, quite a few that have that cannot transfer uh, dialogue on them. Yep, Ultra Beasts cannot be transferred. That makes sense. Oh, cool. The different Pikachus with hats can be transferred from that event uh, last year. Last year, a year or two ago. transfer shiny Mewtwo can be transferred that's a good sign no Ho-Oh no Latios no Lugia you can transfer Celebi that's a good sign you can transfer Keldeo I didn't expect that no Rayquaza but you can transfer Keldeo um, looks like you can also transfer Kyrim um, so that's good can transfer Jirachi, but not Manaphy. No Dialga, no Palkia, no Giratina, no Eveltal, no Zygarde, no Xerneas. No Arceus yet. You can transfer Mars Shadow. That's interesting. Um, Lunala and Solgaleo you can transfer. Okay, you can send Zekrom. You can send the, the rest of the Justice Trio. That makes sense. Not much from that box at all. So you can send Necrozma. You cannot send Thunderous or Tornadus. You cannot send Mesprit and those guys. You cannot send the original birds. That's a bummer. Can send a Lolan Vulpix. That makes me happy. Still a lot of original 151 that you can't send into Sword and Shield. Can send the and I like that the that it's obviously shiny in Pokemon Home. You can see the shiny as opposed to it just being something that you can only see on the stat bar. Um, I farmed for a long time in Pokemon Let's Go to get those shinies. I had shinies in Let's Go before I had them in Pokemon Go. It was miserable. Uh, no pincer, no Dratini family. We're definitely gonna have to go into Let's Go and clear out our Go Park from all the stuff that we've sent from Pokemon Go. 
Um, okay, Alolan Meowth. That's good. No Absol. That makes me sad. I'm a big Absol fan. You can transfer Inkay. All right, so I've moved a bunch of stuff over. It's really nice to see, like, you know, basics like Squirtle, um, but also, you know, Solgaleo and Lunala. Um, you know, Celebi can be transferred over. I'm a big Keldeo fan. Um, I've got this shiny Litten that could be transferred over. Uh, event Pokemon like this Jirachi from Nintendo Hong Kong. Um, Marshadow from Mount Tensei. Uh, Alolan forms that we didn't have previously. But then also a lot of stuff that we can't transfer over, right? So no Zygarde, no Xerneas. Um, just a bunch of stuff that's just not going to be allowed to go into Sword and Shield, at least for now. Um, you know, but the different Pikachus with the hats. Um, it's pretty exciting. So let's let's go ahead and you've got Pokemon with a question mark on it. If you change, save your changes now, you'll find that the number of games available to withdraw that Pokemon to will go down. Do you want to save your boxes in their current state to go back to the main menu? Yes. So that means that I won't be able to send some of those back to Pokemon Let's Go and things like that. Um, now that they have been made ready for Sword and Shield. So now we'll load up into Sword. Now that we're back in Pokemon Sword, look at all this crazy stuff that we didn't have access to before, right? Shiny Mewtwo, Alolan Vulpix. Look at this, Shiny Bulbasaur, Litten. I love Litten as a shiny. It's such a cool looking shiny. Um, plus new uh, legendaries that we didn't have access to before. And then... The event hat's carried over, so Pikachu's got his hat. That's very cool. So then if we look at their summary, now we'll see it's got a different icon over there by the shiny icon. So it lets you know where it came from. You know, it, it's these that come in from home will probably not be allowed in competitive play. There's going to be things that are that certain restrictions, but there's nothing stopping me now from breeding Squirtle to get shinies, you know, a new shiny that would be, um, you know, hatched natively inside Sword and Shield. So um, we've got Darmanitan outside of its Galarin form. All sorts of neat stuff that we were able to trade in. That's very cool. And just like that, look at this. All these new Pokemon that we haven't been able to use in Sword and Shield. Thanks to Pokemon Home, now we can. And if you're like me, a lot of these Pokemon... Oh, hello. Hello, friend. <laughs> a lot of these Pokemon are ones that we have, have played with. Some of them are, our, you know, the legendaries from our playthrough. Oh, this is really cool. If you did enjoy this video, do hit that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell so you never miss a video. And Laurel and I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time on Twitch. We'd love to see you. Come on out. Say hello. Twitch.tv slash Trainer Toll. We'll see you next time.